how to plot histogram in Microsoft Excel. First thing that you have to do is go to file, options and then you need to go to add-ins, click add-ins and Excel add-ins go and activate analysis tool pack. This is just one time activity, you don't need to do it every time. If you do this, many of the statistical and data analysis tool will be activated in your Microsoft Excel. This is not only for histogram, for many other statistical tools also you can activate it in Microsoft Excel. This function is inbuilt. In general, it is not enabled. So only one time you have to enable this. Okay, analysis tool pack, click OK. So once it is done, your data analysis pack is enabled. Now I want to make histogram of uh, machine to data. If I want to make histogram of machine to data, uh, I need to go to data and you can see now data analysis bar over here. Uh, this comes only if your analysis tool pack is activated. If it is not activated, this will not be appearing over here. Now I'll click data analysis and once I click, I get histogram option here. There are many other tools are there. See like ANOVA single factor, ANOVA two factor with replication, covariance, descriptive statistics, okay, F test, uh, so such things are there. Okay. Now I'll go to uh, histogram and then click OK and then I'll put input data. Suppose I want to do histogram for uh, machine 2, I'll just take data of machine 2, right from machine 2 from this cell till the last one. So I selected the data, then output range. If you want to have output in specific cell of the worksheet, you can select that. I'll put new worksheet, okay, new worksheet, a chart output. I want this to be charted, chart output. See your input range, I need to select the data. I can select new worksheet if you want to give any name for that you can give that then chart output then I click OK now the new worksheet has come along with histogram now this histogram need to be corrected with a scale and a proper formatting so that uh, it looks better now I can just uh, right I can reduce this number of digits and the gap between the bars need to be removed okay you can see this is there is a gap here uh, between the bars i click the bar all bars are selected right click uh, format data series of course gap width has already come so i can make this gap width zero okay you can see the gap width i can come closer to zero then like this okay now my histogram looks better you can even format the lines like like see select this you can format that like you can put some border say solid line i want to put some border with uh, say different color okay and if i want to fill some different color inside i can fill that okay this is how the histogram looks like and this is how you can prepare it in microsoft excel